What is Salah? What is Namaz? Salah is a means of us gaining closeness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salah is a way of communicating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salah protects us from evils and sins. Salah is a way of thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salah is a way of praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salah is the calmness of our souls. Salah is the peace of our heart. Salah is solace of our souls. Salah is mi'raj al mu'mineen. It is a spiritual journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salah is everything for us. Salah is a way of gaining salvation in this dunya in akhirah. Unfortunately, Allah forbid, we have not given priority to salah, but given priority to our worldly things. We have time for everything. We have time for our friends. We have time to go shopping. We have time to go out. But when it's time for salah, we do not think, take time out to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the ni'am, for the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. Let me come to something which we need to ponder upon. Hazrat Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Hazrat Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Sayyidina Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Sayyidina Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu. The Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu. These great companions, according to them, if a person misses one salah, he is out of the force of Islam. He has neglect, neglected the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the muhaddithun and the mufassirun have stated, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned to us in the Holy Quran, explicitly 90 times we pray our salah. How many times? 90 times. Every time you miss one salah, you are going against the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 90 times. Now let me narrate to you a few hadith of the companions. First hadith from Sayyidina Ali. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu says, Who has not prayed his salah is a disbeliever. Hazrat Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the great Mufassir, he says, who has missed Salah has done Kufr. Hazrat Abdullah ibn Mas'ur radiallahu ta'ala, the great Faqih, he says, who have missed his prayers has no religion. Hazrat Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, he who has not pr prayed his Salah is an open disbeliever. Sayyidina Abu Dada radiallahu ta'ala, he says, there is no faith, there is no Iman, there is no Yaqeen in a person who doesn't pray Salah. Ghaus Fab radiallahu ta'ala whom we follow, whom we admire so much. Ghaus Fab radiallahu ta'ala says a person who misses his prayers, a namazi, a person who misses his namaz should not be buried in a Muslim's graveyard. Now listen to this very attentively. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, if a person misses one salah, if a person misses one salah, then he will stay in Jahannam for one huqaba. It means 80 years in Jahannam. And each day is equal to 1,000 days. Listen to this attentively. What is our priority? The very easily we miss our prayer. It is only because we have neglected, we have forgotten 
the punishment of those who neglect their prayers I take my hat off my mama for them off yes I give them respect that there are certain youngsters who have so love for Salah but majority 90% may I or maybe 80% I say very easily they miss their prayers the parents who've got children at home the adhan you know this we have scanners at home you know the the muaddin say hayya la salah hayya al falah and they're watching tv they're watching films with their family why are you going to teach your children what example are you giving to your children